What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another live stream from the Scalar Learning channel. I'm rocking the old school Scalar Learning hat from way back in the day, like seven or eight years ago. Uh, so I hope you guys like that. All right, without further ado, we're continuing this Khan Academy series on SAT math for the digital SAT coming up in March. Uh, if you guys are watching after the fact, yeah, this is all digital SAT math information. We're doing the walkthrough through Khan Academy. We are now on operations with rational expressions. I'm going to solve four problems for the first time in real time, and I will teach the material as I solve the problems. Problem walkthroughs are the best, in my opinion, in terms of learning this stuff. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Here we go. All right, question number one. And by the way, this is foundations level. We're going to be going through all of them. So we got these two expressions, and they said which one is equivalent. I mentioned this in other videos if you haven't seen it yet. When they say which is equivalent, usually what they mean is simplify. All right, well, good news is both of these have the same denominator, common denominator, which is like we can also treat basically treat this as one giant fraction, right? And since there was a minus sign there, it's like minus. So now we can combine like terms on the top, right? 7m minus 2m is 5m. Hence, we're left with 5m squared plus 5m. And then that denominator stays as is 2m minus n. All right. I see that in option B, B for the win. Done. There we go. Question number two. Here we go. Which of the following expressions is equivalent to? All right. So again, you might look at this and be like, well, there's nothing to simplify. But what you can do if you're not sure is try to factor. On the top, I can factor out an 8, and I'll do that now. And I've got p plus 1 left inside because it's basically like I'm dividing this term and this term by 8. So that's 1p and 1. On the bottom, you can divide both of these by negative 4. So I'm going to pull out a negative. Actually, Wait, I'm looking at these. Yeah, I'm going to pull out a positive 4. Normally, my instinct would be to pull out a negative 4. But when I take a, a glance at the answers, I see... Actually, I do have an 8 positive AP here. But if I factored out a negative 4, it would flip that to a negative 1. Okay, I'm going to show you I'm going to show you what I'm talking about right now. I'm going to factor out by a 4. And you're going to see we'll get the right answer. And then I'll show you what would have happened if I factored by a negative 4. So basically, factoring means divide. So I'm dividing each of those by 4. So then I've got negative 8, because negative 32 divided by 4 is negative 8. Negative 8p. And then it's plus 1. 4 divided by 4 is 1. Then I can do a little simplification. 8 over 4 cancels out to 2 over 1, or just 2 on the top. Then I can redistribute, boom, boom, and I get 2p plus 2 over negative 8p plus 1. So our answer here is going to be b. Now, as I mentioned, I could have factored out a negative 4 on the bottom instead of a positive 4. Then I would have had positive 8p minus 1, which would have been fine right? Then I would have uh, canceled out with the 8 and the negative 4, got negative 2, whatever, whatever. But the thing is, I didn't see 8p minus 1 in any of these options. That's why I knew, hey, I think what they want us to do or what they did is factored out for positive 4 instead of negative 4. Anyways, b is the answer. Done. All right, next one. Okay, this is a fraction on top of a fraction. So the way to approach this is if you think about uh, th uh, this right here, this division, this fraction bar, it's a division symbol, right? So it's this expression divided by this expression. That's what's going on. So when we're dividing fractions, we do the good old keep change flip. So it's keep this one and then change, meaning change the division to multiplication here. I'm going to write it out here. So instead of now dividing, we're going to multiply, and then we're going to flip, meaning we'll get the reciprocal 12 over x minus y. Now, <clears throat> when we do this, I got the same numerator and denominator here and here, so they'll cancel out. And then 12 over 6 is what we're left with, which simplifies to 2. 2 is the winner. A, boom, done. Finally, number 4, which is the following is equivalent to the given expression. Okay, again, common denominators. Amazing. So I can just add the numerator straight across. u plus u is 2u. Uh, 7 plus negative 7 is 0. So those cancel out. So I've got 2u over 7. And there is my answer. Oh, wait. Somehow I don't see a 2u over... Oh, you know what they did? Is they left it as u plus u over 7. So u plus u is 2u, but they left it as u plus u, which is the same thing, which means that b is the winner. Boom, done. All right, that is it for these questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please click that like button. If you want to see more from the Scale of Learning channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I'll see you.